Hi, today is Monday, August 19th, 2017, and this is a Sweet Speaks. Although right now I'm carrying my Finnish flag, and Finland is, you know, my second or third home country, depending on definition. Uh, I'll have to put this away before I move on any further, but I will now do a follow-up comment on the, on the stabbings in, in Turku uh, last Friday. One moment, please. Uh, so, what's happened since uh, since Friday, and what we know so far, uh, the stabber has been identified as uh, the Moroccan citizen Abderrahman Mecca, uh, who is supposedly is 18 years old, and who arrived to Finland from Germany and seeked asylum. He was supposedly denied asylum, and uh, and he supported himself through pity crime. He was known to be radicalized, but he wasn't under surveillance. Have the Finnish police uh, been schooled by the Swedish police? Just asking. Uh, he shouted Allah Akbar and stabbed two Finnish women to death. Four other women were injured and two men were injured when they tried to stop him. Uh, four other Moroccan men have been arrested and the Finnish police issued an international warrant for the arrest of a fifth suspect. Uh, Abderrahman Mecca was shot in the leg by police. He's alive. And the crime is investigated as terror. Among the injured was one Italian citizen, a Swedish citizen named Hassan and one British citizen named Hassan. So I guess these were the two guys who tried to stop the perpetrator to begin with. Other reports talk about three guys with baseball bats running after the perpetrator, but I guess they weren't stabbed. And what have the reactions been? Uh, Finland's Prime Minister Juha Sipilä uh, tweeted pretty soon after, after the stabbings. Now we must stick together and not respond to hatred with hatred. That sounds nice, doesn't it? To me it sounds horrible. Because these are code words for we'll pretend nothing happened. We are not going to address why this happened. We're not going to address the issue here. We'll pretend nothing happened. This is a defeatist attitude. The Lutheran Archbishop Kari Mekinen said that all religions condemn violence, which is an outright lie, and he should know better. Islam does not condemn violence against infidels. Islam is about violence and killing of infidels. And he, he should know that, and if he doesn't know that, maybe he knows, maybe he doesn't know, and if he knows, Mr. Archbishop, how beta can you be? Stand up, be a man and be a Christian soldier, for crying out loud. Uh, the Swedish taxpayer-funded television, SVT, Sveriges Television, were worried about racism because of this act. That's what they were worried about. I have no comments on that. Uh, the leader of the Finns party, sometimes called the true Finns party, Per Rosomalaisen, Sandfinnarna, uh, he said something sane. He said, policymakers are responsible for consequences of their policy, to which I completely agree. And uh, the presidential candidate for his party, Laura Huhtisari, she tweeted, uh, or I think she posted on Instagram, she posted a picture uh, saying, papers thank you, uh, when it comes to Islamic immigration, or I guess immigration in general, but and, and as, as I've heard, she said that she finds no reason to change her mind about Islamic immigration now. And I agree completely with that. Because what's happened in Finland? Finland is a small country. It's got about 5 million people. And historically, there hasn't been any non-Western immigration at all. In recent decades, just the, Finland started to get some non-Western immigration. And the Muslim population of Finland is about 1% of the population. To compare this, France's Muslim population is about 10% of the population. And in Sweden it's also about 10%, give or take 2 percentage points. But even in Finland, we see this happening. And what can I say? 
this is what happens when you import Islam into society. I mean, let's, let, let me state this. There are nice and friendly Muslims out there. Of course there are. But the ideology, Islam, is poison. It's ideological poison. And it's a murderous ideology. And, and it is unintegratable in any Western society or in any non-Islamic society. That's why we see these things happening in Finland, in Sweden, in Denmark, in Germany, in France, in the United Kingdom, in Russia, where there were stabbings the day after, by the way. And as far as I know, apparently Moroccans were connected to that too. This happens because of Islam. And that's why it's Islam we need to fight. We could discuss exactly how to fight Islam, but first of all, we need to realize that the root of the problem is Islam. The problem is not Moroccan ethnicity, it's not white or brown or black or yellow, if I'm allowed to say that, skin. The problem is the ideology of Islam. There are no such problems connected with Buddhist immigration or Hindu immigration or Jewish immigration or Roman Catholic immigration or secular Swedish immigration or Canadian immigration. The problem is Islam and that needs to be understood. And that's what I have to say about this right now. I would like to thank the people who are supporting this channel through prayer, through Patreon, through PayPal and through all other means that you are able to support this channel. And for information about that, take a look at thesweetspeaks.com. And there are tiers for patrons and donors and I'm working on getting them out for this month. I'm a little late, I'm sorry because I've been traveling. But now I've finally written all the articles for this month. Uh, so now they just have to be worked a little on proofread and things like that. So I'm working on it. And if you like this channel, please subscribe so you don't miss anything. Please share my videos on social media, on Facebook and Twitter and other social media that allows you to share. If you got something to say, if you agree, if you disagree, comment below. If you like this video, please like it. And of course, I would also like to encourage you to support this channel. And I will include all the necessary information in the information box below. And take a look at thesweetspeaks.com. This is the Sweet Speaks. Have a nice day. And Huva Suomi. Heya Finland. Which means hurrah for Finland or something like that. Have a nice day.